Alright guys, welcome back to part 2 of building the drift trike. Today we will finish the whole thing, at least up to where I can start finalizing the thing and adding the last details and painting and stuff. So, now we will have to weld up the rear axle because it didn't look good. Also, these wheels, I need to remove the bearings, do uh, like a clean up because it's messy as you see it all. So, please enjoy watching this video and yeah, let's get started. Look how this oh, will work. It will sit like this. Uh, the other way around, like this. Awesome. And this one will sit... Ow, so hot. And this one will sit in here like this. Very nice indeed. So you know what's going on right now, don't you? Some more welding. More grinding. That's one. So for here, now the next one. So you know what's up next. Some more welding. Alright, since I've only been welding and grinding, I think it's time for a quick update for you guys. So that you know what the plan is. Let me get everything here so that you can see what the idea is. So the basic setup looks like this. Here I have my heavily welded and grinded thing. Here I have my rear axle or at least the tube that will hold the balls that will be the rear axle for the wheels. So these wheels have an inner diameter of 20 mm. So in here I will weld a bolt with 20 mm uh, thread so I just can slide the thing over and it will just sit there and tighten it with a lock nut and on the other side as well. Right but this looks ridiculously white. So I'll now find out where I will have to sit and where the rear axle will have to be. Of course, the bar will be lower because this looks weird. I will remove this piece and the bar will be like this. So let's take that into consideration. All right, so how far should we be from the wheel? That's the question. I think I should sit somewhat like this, right? Drifting. Maybe a little bit further forward even. And I realize this little plate is somewhat dangerous for, let's say, parts of bodies. But since I don't have any way to see if I'm Doing things correctly, I will now just feel if it's right. How about that? That's next level. Yeah, it's some next level shit, you know? Oh, I'm just hanging from this one weld as well, right now. Huh. That's pretty scary, but it works, I guess. So let's weld this up. Some more welding. Alright, since nothing in this garden is straight or nice and useful to build stuff. I will now use this wall to see if my construction is a bit straight. <laughs> Alright, it, it's not straight. <laughs> but the wall is. Uh, at least I hope the wall is. So we can see that on the right side it is just a little bit further up than the left side. So I will bend it in a very constructive and professional way right now. <laughs> Some next level bending, right? Looks like it might be straight. Alright, it looks straight right now, so I'll just weld it a little bit more and see if it stays like that. This is the professional way of doing stuff. Some more welding. A 
after this magnificent piece of work, I'll check again if it's straight. Mm -hmm. It looks somewhat straight, so I guess I'm happy. I just bought materials for continuing this project. I can tell you I've spent 30 euros, so what do you think I've bought? Maybe some nice tubes for future projects or some awesome decals or paint or stuff. No, I just bought this. Two bolts, 30 euros, you're welcome. Like, I don't need to pay rent or food or um, my um, college money anyway. So, uh, so if you've got bolts that are 20 mil uh, and like 100 mil long, you should sell them because they are worth more than gold. Nice. Through the magic of editing, it is the next day right now. Right guys, welcome in world's tiniest workspace. This room literally is two by two meters and there's more stuff in it, but we will continue. So next up, I decided to cut off the back of the trike because I want this axle a little bit different because it looks nicer. So. Some more well in grinding. Right, so I've got some steel things I welded up. Those are gonna be the sleeves around my wheels. These are the wheels, you saw them already. They fit inside here with a little bit of force and then I pump it up and it will be perfect fit. So these wheels will have to be one meter apart from outer to outer edge. So we will measure that up and check out how long our axis should be. So we're gonna measure it up right now. Right, they will be one meter apart. So the wheels will be in the middle of these things. These things are 27 centimeters wide. So that's 27 divided by two is 13. 100 minus two times 13 is 100 minus 26. 100 minus 26 uh, equals 74. So my axle should be 74 centimeters wide for my wheels. Then I have to take off half of the width of these things. And these are 80 millimeters wide. No, 70 millimeters wide in the axle. 74 minus 40 equals 67. 67. That's not too wide actually. It seems a bit wider. So 40 centimeters should be straight. All right, and then I need to we'll do this. some slots here in the end I don't know if you can see it and I've got my 30 euro bolts and they sit in perfectly so I will now weld this tight again and then we will go to the bike shop because we need some nice bars some more welding <laughs> grinding all right guys so we gathered some nice parts for this project first of all a new bar because the old one was just too rusty and it doesn't look like anything so I've got a new fresh bar I've also got some very good grips they are clamp on grips so we just uh, Tighten these up and it will be nice. These are very good, they're even better than the ones on my fixed gear bike. So probably we'll use them for that after this project. Of course there are some end caps for that. So that's what we have. Also, we've got pegs for the front wheel because you have to sit with your foot somewhere. So why not use some BMX pegs for that? That's nice. Next up, a brake. Just this tiny uh, brake. Yeah, 
a brake is to brake, you know what the brake is for and of course we need the levers for that as well and that's it. So we will now put all these things on the trike. Hmm. Let's see if my welding is any good. Okay, let's do some perfectly scientific test. There we go. Huh. That's not too bad. I guess I can live with this. Hmm, doesn't look that it's going anywhere. Perfect. Alright guys, let's do some quick testing. Looks like a good test to me. Test completed. Oh yeah, I also ground these things off so they're now as round as I'm gonna get them. And I will do some painting and some uh, final details and I'll see you within soon. Alright guys, that's all for part 2. The thing is now finished, everything's working perfectly, it's, 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 it's just too nice and I think you guys want to see this. Um, I will go out and do some drifting I guess uh, and do some cinematic videography. As you can see the final result uh, down here. Um, I will upload it and also please consider subscribing if you like what you see because that would help me a lot and uh, yeah, we could do more awesome stuff like this. So subscribe there, please check out the final result of this project here and thank you so much for watching and I see you in the next one.